So I was perusing the most brain damaged subreddit I could go on, the Discord app subreddit. I actually did find something interesting, a Reddit post that showed someone's data. And I looked at it and it seems pretty interesting. They get to see how many messages they sent to people. And I feel like a lot of people are hopping on the gravy train of figuring out how many hours of their life they wasted on Discord. How do these people do this? And is there any risk associated with giving away your data like this? Well, in fact, there actually is, and it could be quite scary. So anyways, if you go into Discord and you just go into your settings and go to privacy and safety, if you scroll down, you should be able to see this request all of my data and you click on request data. Now, what will happen is that Discord servers will have their hamster wheel spinning and it'll take 50,000 years and you should get an email from Discord saying the following. Your Discord data package is ready. Now, in this email, Discord does tell you that this data, oh goodness, this data is your private information. Keep it safe. Now, you're going to click on this download link and download your data package. And when you download it, you will get the zip file. You open it up, there's a whole bunch of folders, and there's a README text document. If you open up the README text document, it gives you a Discord support article which I already have open, baby, because I am prepared. Anyways, I cringed a little bit, but this tells you what's inside your Discord data package. This Discord data package has your IP address, payment information. Wow, look at that. You know, all this really sensitive information that you wouldn't want random people on the internet to know. If they had your IP address, they could DDoS you, and then you wouldn't have internet for a couple days or however long it takes your incompetent internet service provider to actually change your IP and figure things out. Now, for your payment information, it's not going to have your credit card in there all willy-nilly. However, if you used like PayPal or something, oh, your PayPal email is going to be in there too. In fact, for my payment information, if I open up this user.json file and open it in Notepad, and if I scroll far enough to the right, you will see my real name, you will see my address, you will see exactly where I live because I put in valid payment information when I bought Nitro once on Discord. So you can kind of see how this is an issue, right? Now, there was a part of this video where I go back and I go into messages and I show that, you know, all your messages that you've ever sent that are not deleted will be in this massive folder here. But regardless, if you didn't buy Nitro or whatever, if you sent your friend your address or maybe a credit card number, someone could use your Discord data package and find that just through your messages. So it should be quite clear that this is extremely dangerous. So that's where I queue into these Discord data package websites. They're, in theory, they're scary. I just scared the crap out of you telling you that this one single file that you got off Discord has your address, your real name, all your information that someone could use to just completely ruin, well, ruin your experience on Discord for however many weeks they decide to torture you for. But if you ever do decide to take the plunge and look at your Discord data, just keep in mind that stick to two websites that I have personally looked through and I feel like they are safe. However, this could change in the future, so please do look in the description, look at the pinned comments, and if there's anything saying stay away from this website, then stay away from it. But if you're going to send your Discord data package anywhere, you are either going to send it to ddpe.andros2091.fr, link in the description, or discordpackage.com. If there's any other website that's saying, oh, send us your Discord data package, please just don't send it to them. Regardless, if you're as paranoid as I am, there's actually a very easy way to use these two websites without feeling any urge of, uh-oh, my information is out there. All you need to do, and th this is great, this is why I like these websites, all you need to do is just go into Windows, Disable your Wi-Fi, disable your Ethernet, and now from here, there's no possible way that this application can communicate with the outside world, and now I can upload my Discord data package and just see all the analytics. So just keep in mind that I do have my internet disabled, so a lot of this website will be a little broken. As you can tell, my avatar doesn't exist, my top emojis will, I mean, I never use Nitro, so they're just going to be normal emojis, but if you had like custom emojis, if you click on it, they're all just going to be random pictures. It's not going to look beautiful, but I do know that I am 100% not sharing my information. Despite these websites being safe, you don't have to turn off your internet. It, if you're super privacy conscious, like I am right now, then you know, you can just turn off your Wi-Fi. The only thing that these two websites do is just contact the internet to get like avatar pictures and bots and custom emojis. That's the only thing they do. They fetch Discord's API to get those images. Ah, it's me. I'm editing this video. If you look here, I basically talk for uh, like uh, however many minutes. That's like eight minutes or something. I talk for eight minutes about my Discord data. None of you care about it. Let's be honest here. So I'm just going to remove that part. Okay, thank you later. Bye bye. Love you. That's Discord package and Discord data package explorer. It's the same process. This is just, you know, a demo but I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's basically the same statistics. I doubt any of you actually care how much I'm on Discord. But anyways, those are the websites. Make sure to, if you're being super duper privacy person, just clear the cookies.
So, oh, remove, remove, done. And then you close the web browser and guess what? You can go back and turn on your internet and you're now in the world of the World Wide Web. Anyway, sweetheart, I love you very much and hopefully you didn't use Discord too much because believe it or not, there actually is a world outside of your monitor and outside of the window that you keep on putting blinds over and you never see the sunlight. It's kind of funny because I just sit at home all day making YouTube videos. I barely go outside. I'm being hypocritical. Anyways, I love you. Mwah.